Hi, beautiful Scorpios. I hope you're all doing fabulous, fantastic. I'm wishing you all the very best for this upcoming week, Scorpio. Thank you so much for your views, your likes, and your subscribes are deeply appreciated. I am led today to use confessions from the person on your mind. The one that is foremost on your mind. What did they want to confess? to Scorpio. How are they truly feeling about Scorpio and what do they really want Scorpio to know? The truth here. You are like an angel and they feel like a devil. Hurting you hurt me more, they're saying. Oh, so they're saying I just can't do this right now, but it's crossing the reed so they want to do something right now I'm taking a step back to figure out what I want I'm sorry I don't want to lose you I want to tell you the truth I just can't love anyone else anymore I was projecting all my fears onto you. That's what they want to tell you. So it's like they don't know what you see in them, but they are longing for you. See, they don't they don't know what you see in them, Scorpio. They feel like you're an angel and they're the devil. And they hurt you. And when they hurt you, they hurt themselves more. And they're sorry. They don't want to lose you. I want to tell you the truth. I just can't love anyone else anymore. I was projecting all my fears onto you. So Scorpio... The truth is, is that when they hurt you, they hurt themselves more. They were projecting their fears, their worries onto you. And they're sorry. They feel like you're an angel and they're the devil. Scorpio, you're this person's fulfillment. But they don't know what you see in them. They love you. You're very diligent. You're honest, trustworthy. This person's just on a voyage. Simple actions. Enlightenment. So they know darn well that they love you. They, it's just that they don't know why you love them. They can't figure out why you love them. So no doubt their fears, their insecurities. It's what's the issue here. You're not the issue. They love you, but they just can't figure out why you love them. They don't know why you love them. Because they're insecure and they have fears. The child within. Inner mother, innocence, gentleness, and tender. They see you as like the nurturer. <laughs> the reunion. They want to reunite with you. Soul recognition, collaboration, partnership, and friendship. You are this person's everything. Becoming grounded. Living in connection. Lineage of the rose. Moved by the goddess. 
you're here for this. This is your soul call. It's a sacred union. Beloved within. Inner and outer. Alignment. Flow. Right relationship and harmony. <clears throat> so it's like... You scare this person. Scorpio, you do. You scare this person. They never met anyone like you. They see you as an angel. They see themselves as the devil. Like this love scared the crap out of them. They're blown away, Scorpio. What can I say? So sacred union, I'm telling you right now, they see you as the nurturer, the gentle, kind, loving, nurturing. You're valuable. You're like a precious commodity here. <clears throat> Sincere, loyal. The hell? You're grounded. They're like, they're scared of you. You're confident and they're insecure. They're like blown away by you. Don't ever think that they don't love you because they do. It's their own fears. They don't think they're good enough for you. They don't think they're worthy enough for you. <laughs> they feel unworthy. That's what's the problem here. They see you as the happy ever after. That is the truth. They want to tell you the truth. The truth they want to tell you is when they hurt you, they hurt themselves more. Because they were scared crapless of this union. This soulmate connection, I'm telling you right now. It's like they don't feel like they can manifest what you need. <clears throat> there's passion. There's... They're stressed out. Look, they're worried. They're depressed. When they hurt, they love you. And when they hurt you, they hurt themselves more. You were their everything. They're ten of pentacles. And you may have walked away or they may have walked because they were afraid. That's why they walked away. It's not because they didn't love you. It's because you scared them. This union, this powerfulness, they felt like you were an angel. They were the devil. They don't feel worthy of you. They have nothing but respect and integrity and honor toward you, but you scare them. This union, this relationship scares them. They feel foolish compared to you. They love you. A lot. They need to get their courage and strength up. Take a leadership role. You are their happiness. They know they were unfair. But you are their star. Hmm. Maybe they think like you're going to reject them or maybe they think that you're going to get bored with them and then where are they, you know, something, they have to learn something. They could be jealous and they're sad and they regret whatever they did. They could be doing some heavy duty drinking, but they want, they see you as powerful. You've changed their life in a powerful way. They see this relationship as powerful and they need, they want, they're spying on you, on their angel. <laughs> I told you, it's because they don't feel worthy. It's like, 
they look at you as a, a star, an angel, the everything they've ever wanted, and it scares them. And they're projecting their insecurities, their fears onto you. Because they don't know how to handle this. <laughs> They're keeping you a secret to protect you from someone else. Mm. So maybe they were unstable financially. Maybe they've had a financial crash. They feel like the bloody devil, I'm telling you, compared to you. Look. They feel like the devil, and they see you as an angel. They're scared. That's all it is. They're scared. They're holding on to you, Empress. You're all they ever think about. And they were projecting their insecurities onto you. They're intimidated by you. You're a threat to this person. They see you as like a threat. Oh my God, oh my God, what do I do? I'm not good enough. I don't have enough money. I'm insecure. So they tried to make you feel insecure. And now they're angry. They may have gotten angry at you. They may have taken their anger out on you. They might have taken their fears, their worries, their insecurities out on you. Made you feel worthless. Made you feel insecure. Made you feel all these kind of ways. Hmm. Let's do some confessions here. They see you as an angel and they see themselves as the devil and they were projecting their fears, their insecurities, their worries onto you. Confess, confess to Scorpio. Come on, confess to Scorpio. Well, See, they're talking negatively about you because they're jealous. I'm envious of you because he has deep feelings for you. So whoever they were dealing with, they're envious of you. This person has a lot of baggage. Even the karmic energy here knows that you're meant to be together. <laughs> and they're feeling like the victim and they're worried you did bad juju on them and they're spying out you to see if this person is still holding on to you they argue a lot I can tell he's unhappy here And this karmic energy is saying, I have him doing unhealthy things to ruin him for you. So they could have gotten this person addicted to something. Just to ruin him for you. That's why they feel like the devil. They don't even like their own energy, Scorpio. This person does not even like the way that they're living their life. They could be doing a lot of drinking or a lot of drugs or just toxic behavior. That's why they feel like the devil. They do.
Mm. Unreal Scorpio. Karmic is saying he's learned his karmic lessons. He's unhappy. Karmic is saying I can tell he's unhappy here. He's draining my energy. I am toxic to him and he is toxic with that karmic. There is a lot of toxicities going on. This karmic is toxic. This karmic energy might be doing things to keep them addicted. Drinking, drugs, sex, unhealthy, toxic behavior just to ruin this person for you because they know that this person's going to return to you or wants to return to you. They feel so toxic. Hmm. Hmm. You see, it was an angel. And they're thinking that you did bad juju on them because they're getting bad karma. Things are not working out. <clears throat> they're thinking you did bad juju on them. And it's their own doing. They're going through a tower. There's a lot of instability here. A lot of confusion. A lot of drinking. A lot of maybe drugs. Sneaky behavior, lies, secrets. But the bottom line is that they're insecure and they were projecting all their bullshit onto you. Do they love you? Oh yeah. Yes, they do. The karmic is just trying to ruin this person so that they can be stuck in a toxic union with this person. Whether that's drinking, doing a lot of drinking, partying, drugging, toxic behaviors, just so they don't, so that they're, they're no good for anybody. But for you in particular, ruining a person, just deliberately ruining someone so that out of jealousy, that's why they're getting bad juju. It's nothing you did. They're getting bad juju because they're doing bad juju. Heavily burdened, under judgment, see? A lot of people judging this person. Very critical of them, criticizing them, cutting them down, making them feel small. Maybe cutting them down to their family, making them feel insecure, making them feel worthless, making them feel not good enough. They see you as an angel. They're thinking, you know, that you would reject them after all the business they've done to you, Scorpio. But trust this person when they are saying when they hurt you, they hurt themselves more. It's the truth. They really did. Internally and externally. So they're doing damage to their body. They're doing body, uh, body damage. They're doing damage to their body, their mind, and their soul. Out of what? Insecurity? Jealousy? Someone deliberately taking this person down. Nasty. That's why they're getting bad juju. 
This is like a spiritual partnership. You don't need to do bad juju. They seem to be taking care of it all on their own by the looks of it. Scorpio. You're their everything. You couldn't have been a better person if you tried. You could have offered them more if you tried. You were this person's end-all, be-all. They think you're an angel. <laughs> you were. Quite honestly, you were, Scorpio. At least you weren't out there trying to take this person down. You were trying to uplift them. Take care, Scorpio. What a friend you were to this one. They're never going to forget you. And yeah, they do want you back. Take care.